Greetings, I'm William Frost. I'm a senior at the College of the Holy Cross with a major in history. For the summer of 2021, I've been working as an intern for the Montauk Historical Society. The Historical Society has interviewed Montauk residences and recorded their conversations to preserve the first-hand account of the people who first moved out to Montauk in the early 20th century and have lived there their whole lives. My job was to listen, edit, and record these audio transcriptions of interviews conducted by the Montauk Historical Society and to create a database of keywords and tags for availability and ease of use. I make sure that the audio is properly transcribed, separating and assigning different speaker roles when more than one person is speaking, rewriting mistranslated sentences and misinterpreted words, and proofreading the transcriptions for spelling and grammatical errors. While I'm working on these transcriptions, I'm listening to the stories that these people are telling, taking the opportunity to learn more about Montauk's history and the people who call it their home. I learned about how migrants from Nova Scotia were brought to Montauk to work during the cold winter months at its foundation, how Carl Fisher had dreamt for Montauk to be the Miami of the North, and now how his ambitions were followed by the Great Depression, how Montauk was swept up with bootlegging and rum running during Prohibition, and how the hurricane of 1938 left the town devastated and led to it being rebuilt to where it is today. I listened to how townsfolk interacted with the arrival of the army during World War I and World War II, how Montauk's commercial fishing industry held both opportunities and dangers to those who participated. I discovered the daily activities of the children growing up in Montauk and would listen to them share their thoughts on how Montauk has transformed over the years in their eyes. I would listen over and over again to the audio recordings to make sure that I'm accurately transcribing what was being said and who was saying it. Here's an example of an audio recording that I worked on over the summer. This is an interview with former lighthouse keeper, Paul Driscoll, and accounts the time he and his family were stationed in the Montauk Lighthouse from 1978 to 1983. The area that I've highlighted is significant as it talks about Paul Driscoll's contributions in helping to create the first version of the museum, the Lighthouse Keeper's Residence, which the Montauk Historical Society would then build upon when it took over the lighthouse. I would like to thank the Robert David Lyon Gardner Foundation and the Young Scholars Program for giving me the opportunity to work with the Montauk Historical Society and involve myself more with the Montauk community this summer. Thank you.